you know, it does take the wind out from under my sails a little bit. It's not like I'm at the can in Topeka. I'm sitting here in a theater in New York. Ideally, there wouldn't be a dude passed out in the front row. Oh, what the That's what we get paid for, to chimp around up here like monkeys and hope that no one passes out on us. Enjoy it out there. It's your big night. Why are you sleeping? Me don't know me got up early. Me got up too early for this man. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Lisa Lampanelli, keep it going for that guy. Wasn't he funny? Seriously. Wasn't he hilarious? I love the, the pink camouflage, Lisa. You're like General Fatten. <laughs> Holy shit, look at you, you fat <laughs> Who knew Lane Bryant had an army? <laughs> Lisa actually has a lot in common with that octo mom, that woman that gave birth to all those babies. She's never given birth, but she has had 80 fingers inside her at the same time. Dude, <laughs> 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 look at this pack of slobs up here. Gary Busey's here, kind of. How about Gary? Yeah! Gary, I guess, flew in from Lobotomy Island. Jesus, Gary, you horse-faced lunatic. You look like, you look like Nick Nolte f the Clydesdale. Your teeth look like a row of urinals. Look at yourself. Every time you talk, I want to piss in your mouth. And I don't, uh... Warren, what the hell are you doing here? Holy shit, Warren was, he was great on Dancing with the Stars. He came in second and then celebrated by dragging his partner to the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> it's great to see Toby Keith. Toby, I'm glad you could take time out from spitting on Mexicans to be here, Toby. Uh, Toby, you put the big in bigot. I loved your last song, Get Out of My Country, You Camel Jockey, Wetback Faggy <laughs> Jew. And, uh... Marsha Brady's here, Maureen McCormick, huh? How about that? Holy shit. Marsha Brady. You wrote in your book that you used to trade sex for drugs. Holy shit. As a kid, I used to fantasize about having sex with you. Who knew all I needed was an eight ball in a bus station bathroom? <laughs> and speaking of bathroom stalls, where's that redneck fruit Jeff Foxworthy? There he is. Jeff, you look like Magnum P.I. with AIDS. My buddy, uh, Nick DiPaolo's here. Nick, look at you, you big hunched over guinea. You're like Fonzie with spina bifida. <laughs> and Reno Collier, I don't know who or what that is. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess he's part of that next wave of lowbrow dipshits that'll make me want to kill myself. Or, or maybe he's just here so Lisa Lampanelli wouldn't be the only fat lesbian hack on stage. <laughs> and now, uh, on to uh, Larry, the cable guy. This, this is exciting, I gotta tell you. I've never roasted a fake character before. Maybe next year we can roast SpongeBob SquarePants. Larry's, Larry's whole act is a sham, like the Bible or the Holocaust. Some people say Larry's only successful because he's pandering to the lowest common denominator and blatantly and non-ironically exploiting people's racist and homophobic tendencies. Don't listen to these people, Larry. They're just bitter and jealous and right. You inbred hillbilly. <laughs> You've been inside more farm animals than Purina. You're like the Trojan army. You're big, patriotic, and you both came inside a giant horse. You gravy sweating cousin. F Larry f his first cousin when he was 16, and his last one about an hour ago. <laughs> you lost 50 pounds on Nutrisystem and another 10 when you shaved your back. How the f are you so popular? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this one finally broke my back. Your fans can't even afford cable. They're not coming because they think you're funny. They're just, they've never seen a cable guy. You could have come up with other characters your fans have never seen, like Larry the Dentist, or Larry the Librarian, or Larry the High School Diploma. <laughs> Thanks for letting me roast you, uh, Larry. You, you make more money in a week than I'll make in my life, and, uh, and that feels good, I gotta tell you. You say you've never done drugs, but watching your success has put me in rehab twice. So, uh, thanks for ripping my soul out, you hillbilly f 